Hey guys, welcome to Off Topic, and today we're going to be talking about DNA analysis of Peruvian elongated skulls have been released, and they're saying that they're not human. Pretty interesting stuff. So let's get a little background on this. Now, the elongated skull thing and, uh, you know, body manipulation uh, has been going on forever. Scientists have found, you know, tribes and stuff that have actually binded their skull. We'll show you guys some pictures here, and it actually causes the skull to grow in an elongated fashion. Uh, you know, body modification is nothing that's new. It goes on today with tattoos and piercing a lot in our, in our culture. So nothing new there. And, you know, for people to go and put, you know, large earrings or, you know, plates in their mouths or, you know, uh, elaborate piercings and stuff like that, it's been happening ever since man could figure out how to do it. Before you guys jump on this, let's put out the facts. Now, these Peruvian skulls are a little bit different than normal skulls. First thing is, is their volume is 25% more than the average human skull, which scientists don't believe that that could happen through manipulation, you know, by binding the skull. Also, they're 60% heavier. They also contain only one parietal plate in the back instead of two. So this is a structural difference in modern day humans, all right? So very interesting stuff. It's been a mystery for years. These skulls were found back in like 1928, so it's been an ongoing mystery. So look at some pictures here, guys, and you can see that these skulls do look abnormal. Brian Forster has released uh, preliminary information regarding this, and he's saying that through the mitochondrial DNA, these are not of human descent. They are off the tree of evolution that you know Neanderthals and Homo sapiens and stuff are off of. So something completely different, a completely different hominid species than what we understand. So of course all the alien guys are going to jump in and say it's aliens and you know that's not been proven or disproven. But here's the glitch in this little this little article. Uh, this woman here, Miss Melum Ketchum, um, and I'll leave a link below, she's the same woman who say that she's found the DNA evidence of Bigfoot and is charging people to read her final report. Uh, somewhere along the line she's associated with this at doing the DNA testing and this woman's objectivity and her integrity has been in question uh, so, you know, I'll leave you at that, guys. There's not much information besides this one article. I'll leave the link down below. But something that's uh, pretty interesting, I found it fascinating, and I'll definitely be following the story to see what happens. But I know the uh, ancient alien guys out there are, are chomping at the bit. Actually, Lloyd Pye, who uh, is recently deceased, he's the one that had that star child skull that was getting DNA testing. But you know what? I, I always get very leery when these guys are you know, trying to cash in on these discoveries. Uh, not to say that people shouldn't be able to monetize their work. Of course, they should be able to, but eh, it gets it gets to be on that slippery slope to being a snake oil salesman uh, when you're trying to cash in on every little discovery. Uh, you should be you know, trying to discover it for the sake of discovery, uh, but you should also be able to eat. Anyway, guys, just get your opinion. Let me know. Leave your comments down below. Any video responses would also be appreciated. Any subject matter experts who've done the research, maybe some biologists out there or some DNA experts, uh, can give us uh, some lessons as well. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, take care. Be safe. And remember, if you're not learning something, you're doing something wrong.